hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you how to make super soft super yummy gulgulas from leftover bananas it's a very simple use of leftover bananas those we don't like to eat normally but this way they become super yummy to eat and the recipe is also very simple so let's see the recipe here you can see friends that i have taken four bananas they are leftover bananas as you can see they are extra ripe and we don't like to eat them normally so let's make something yummy from them i have taken four bananas here and i'm going to use one cup of all purpose flour but if you want to use only three bananas for one cup of flour then uh, that's also okay but four overripe bananas will make our gulgula so much soft and so much yummy to eat now i have taken a bowl as you can see and now we have to peel off the bananas so i am doing the same the stem parts of the bananas were previously broken so i'll cut the open part off here it is as you can see this part was open so i'm cutting it off and now it's ready so now i'll peel off the rest of the bananas in the same way and uh, i'm cutting off the open portion and all the four bananas are ready as you can see and uh, i have washed my hand very properly and now with my hand i'll mash them you may use fork for this work but i am doing this with my hand and uh, actually we don't have to mash them very finely we have to keep some chunks of them i'll show you you can see that uh, i'm mashing them very roughly keeping big chunks of them here you can see and at the time of mixing them with flour and other ingredients the chunks will be smaller and now i am going to sieve the all purpose flour so i have taken a sieve and uh, here is one cup of all purpose flour as you can see one cup I'm sieving in a little quantity at a time. Sieving the flour is not actually that necessary, but it's good for the recipe. And here, a foreign particle is here, as you can see. I'm removing it, and uh, I'll sieve the rest of the flour. Saving it also. and now it's done and for one cup of flour i'm taking half cup of sugar here it's perfect for everyone but you may change the quantity of sugar there's no problem and here i'm taking half teaspoon of green cardamom powder actually i grinded some green cardamom along with some sugar and made a fine powder and here i'm adding one pinch of salt regular salt and here i have taken one cup of grated coconut i have taken fresh coconut here but you may take dry coconut instead there is no problem i have added the coconut to the other things as you can see and now with my hand i'll mix them properly I'll try that the banana chunks may not break so much. So, now we need some water or some milk to make the dough. But actually I don't have any liquid milk now, so I'm adding some powdered milk here and I'll add some water to make the dough. But you may skip the powdered milk, there's no problem. Simply add some milk or some water to make the dough. now i'll add water gradually in a little quantity at a time and mix everything nicely i'll show you the consistency of the batter how it should be don't add so much water at a time it may ruin the texture of the dough and here is the texture i'm showing you the thickness of the dough should be like this 
as you can see we have to make gurgulas like this i am showing you this way we have to make gurgulas and the batter is perfect for this recipe and at the end of the process i'll add a pinch of baking soda don't add so much baking soda because we are not going to make fried cakes we have to make gulgulas so we need only one pinch of soda for one cup of all purpose flour i'll mix the mixture again very nicely and now it's ready i'll wait for 10 to 15 minutes to melt the sugar and after 10 to 15 minutes the sugar has been melted and you can see that the batter is little thin now so i'll add some more flour to balance the consistency of the batter about one fourth cup of flour i'm adding more and now i'll mix it properly again with my hand and after mixing we will go for frying and uh, here you can see friends that uh, i have kept oil for deep frying and i am checking the oil if it is hot well or not and uh, there are so many bubbles after adding the batter here in the oil as you can see and uh, it is coming upwards automatically it means that the oil is so nicely hot now we have to keep the heat on medium and add the gulgulas one by one don't add so many gulgulas at a time that they stick to one another and don't use spoon for this process use of course hand for this process and that's the best now all the gulgulas are floating on oil as you can see we'll wait for some time until the lower parts of the gulgulas are little brown when they are little brown from the lower parts we'll flip them and fry them until a nice red color i'm releasing them from one another because they stick to each other as you can see now they are looking a little brown from the lower parts so I am flipping them and I will keep stirring them this way until they are of nice red color and now you may notice the color friends it is a nice red color now I am taking them out from the oil and I will drain the oil very nicely and after that I will take them on a kitchen tissue or a kitchen paper. Don't make them so dark in the oil because after cooling down they will be little darker and now you can see that the color is bright red and it is perfect. Now we will take them out and in the same way I will fry the rest of gulgulas. After serving you can see the texture friends, they are little darker from the pan and now they are very crispy from the upper side and very soft from the inner side. They are very enjoyable to eat. You may enjoy them like a tea time snack or a normal snack as you like. The process is also very easy so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll show you breaking a gulgula from the inner side. Here you can see the inner texture of the gulgula. You may notice the banana chunk in it and it's very delicious to eat. You may enjoy them storing for 2-3 to three days without freeze and for a whole month in normal refrigerator. So must try this simple recipe and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.